everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I am showing you a vlog and also I am going to try something that I haven't done for the very first time. And I am excited to show you. This video is also sponsored. Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Wild Link Shoes and they are actually the reason why I'm going to try something new today. They make barefoot shoes and I haven't ever owned a pair of barefoot shoes. Jens and I went to his parents' cottage for the weekend and we took these shoes with us and we decided to give them a whirl and go for a hike and do lots of fun things. We also went thrifting but spoiler alert you're going to see that in a second. These are my pair of barefoot shoes. I got the model called Flying Fox. They are vegan and they are made ethically and sustainably and these are made primarily with organic cotton and then I have an insole uh, like this which is made from hemp so if you're looking for sustainable shoes and you're not really into secondhand shoes or perhaps you just really want to try something new I really recommend barefoot shoes and I really recommend wildling I've had such a great experience with these and I'm going to keep using them especially when I'm going on walks or hikes or anything in between this is a really really cool thing and I'm so excited to show you so without further ado let's get into the video Okay. Hello. Hello. Are you filming? I am. Yes. I'm trying on the shoes for the first time now. I don't. I, I put on one of the shoes once we got the parcel, but I haven't tried both the shoes on yet. So I'm really excited. This is not a good angle for me. What is the plan today? The plan today is that we are going to go thrifting. Um, by the way, we are in Jens's parents' cottage, and it's a great time. I have. <laughs> it's a great time. It's a great time. Twice if you're here against your will. <laughs> it is a great time though. There's a fireplace. That's all I need. Um, but there are great thrift shops nearby, so we're going to go thrifting. Um, we went yesterday as well, and I found some things that I didn't buy and I haven't bought for ages, but I've seen many times. But today we're going back, and I regret not getting them, so we're getting them. Then we're going hiking and. Generally, getting these shoes a run for their money and trying them out in different terrains. Don't worry, Molly. This is not an important clip anyway. It's fine. Okay, the shoes are on. And this is a great angle for me, by the way. I know you love this. Push, push. <laughs> no. Let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. Yeah. And this is the mood otherwise. Yay. Moles, you're not going. Car keys. You ready? Go get this. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. So for this trip, Jens and I actually borrowed his mum's car. So we will be in your mum's car. Room, room. <laughs> Outdated meme reference aside, we don't normally have a car, so if you're super confused about why do they have a car, we don't, and we borrow this maybe two times a year when yeah. we need to. There aren't really any public transportation options out here, so if you want to stay here, you do need your own vehicle. Mm. So that's why we borrowed it for a little while, but uh, we don't normally have a car. Yeah, I've been here once where I didn't have a car at all uh, with some other friends. Uh, and you really end up getting cabin fever because you, you can only bike some uh, anywhere and it's really hilly out here. So, uh, right. You should probably grab the camera because I'm about to turn on the button. Let's go to the thrift shop! <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> we got to the thrift shop. Here we go. I can see it. Okay, okay. This bad boy. I've been looking at this probably since June and I didn't buy it. Today's the day though. You're an adult. <laughs> I am though. Okay, so I got the picture and we also got this, this game. It's called Bananagrams and I think it's Norwegian? Question? I don't know. But I've been looking for this in thrift shops for ages because I didn't want to buy it from new and it's kind of like Scrabble but without the board and it's cool, I like it. So, uh, yes! Yes! Now we're gonna go home and grab some lunch and then we're gonna go for a hike. Woo! Just to make them nice and toasty and Moles is there. She's being super dramatic by the way. <laughs> um, 
Um, but yeah, I'm just putting them here out in front of the fire so they're nice and toasty for when we need to go on our hike. I thought that was a good idea. And also then we get to enjoy the fire. And right behind there is something that I want to show you as well. We went to another thrift shop where I found this reusable Christmas tree. Can you believe? And I paid four quid for it and I love it and I'm going to be using that for Christmas and for every other Christmas going forward. I'm so happy with this purchase but it is a little wet and wet wood, try saying that four times, isn't exactly a great combo so we just put it here by the fire to make sure it dries up really nicely. She keeps shaking so we put her by the fire and we put a blanket on top of her so now she cannot be anything but cozy. I am dying, she's so cute. Okay, we are ready to go really, really soon. I just made us some lunch that is zero waste completely and uh, we're going to take this with it and eat outside while we are on our hike and I'm really looking forward to it. I keep saying hike. I feel like that's a little bit glorified of, you know, like the walk we're going to go through. So, <laughs> chilky. But I want to talk a little bit about the shoes once again, as I already have said, this is my first time trying barefoot shoes and experiencing barefoot shoes. And the reason why I wanted to do that in the first place was because that I read several studies that said that uh, over time through adulthood, we lose a lot of the flexibility and muscle buildup that we have in our feet because the shoes that we use are too supportive. So you don't really exercise your uh, feet muscles and you don't exercise the flexibility of your feet, of your hips, legs and ankles and all of these areas can benefit a lot from barefoot shoes. So that was one of like, I don't know, health reasons why I thought it was a good idea. They have very thin soles, so they do this. And this is supposed to exercise and uh, strengthen your flexibility in your feet and your ankles. And I think it was about a month ago, I twisted my ankle while uh, practicing Taekwondo and I was out for several weeks where my foot just hurt and my ankle just hurt. And I am thinking, aha, that if I use barefoot shoes rather often, I will strengthen that flexibility and make sure that won't happen again. So, we have our lunch, we have our shoes, we have our jumper. Let's go outside. Generally, I'm not an outdoorsy gal, but the place we're going to is really, really beautiful and one of my favorite places in this area. So let's do it. Moles, you're coming on the hike as well. And she's like, you wish, bitch. I'm cozy. Don't come. betray me, humans! Come, Mali! Come! Let's go! Let's go! Have arrived! This windswept place! And currently, Gide is trying to release the dog. Distracting the dog from the thing. There's the dog, there's the gear, and that is the road we're going. Let's go! We are at the sign, it says the Iron Hat, and this forest is so magical because all the trees are really wobbly and weird. And yeah, I cannot wait to show you, it's so good. Molly, come! And Molly is on this. These shoes will really get a run for the money because, yeah, this is the path we're walking. Love it! Right, okay. we're in a slippery situation. Oh! So it's super slippery. Gonna go down. Grab that tree at the end there. There you go. We're almost about to fall. <laughs> I think we'll live. Yes. But... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> We will fix the shoes! Mud shoes! 
But look at this though. It's worth it. How fantasy is this? Whenever I'm here, it's always like, why aren't I playing D&D in surroundings like this? Like, how D&D is this? Look at these trees! Look how gnarled they are! It's great! We're almost there! Look at that! Oh boy! Look at this view though. I think it's amazing you kind of walk through this magical, wobbly, weird twisted forest and then you end up here with this insane view. It's really cool. So we brought these sandwiches in our wax wraps. These are soy based and then water in a reusable water bottle and we're going to enjoy this lunch here with this view. It's okay. It's okay, I mean, I like this view as well. Ah. What up? What up? <laughs> Your face is not in this at all. Oh, a sandwich. You get a sandwich, you get a sandwich, you get a sandwich, you all get a sandwich. Okay, so this is called the Iron Hat um, and you are kind of the expert here of the local history so I think you should tell or try to explain what the deal is with this place. Yes, um, I've been told this by my dad so it might all be, uh, all be completely fictional but uh, this place is called the Iron Hat and out there uh, it's just disappeared in the fog. There's a little island called, the, uh, called Helm uh, or Helmet um, and sort of the, the, the mythological um, origin of these two places is that uh, it was once a troll and a witch who were, I think in some tales they're married and, and having an argument and then they were hitting each other on the heads with their big old, big old sticks until uh, the only thing left of them above ground was uh, one's iron hat and one's uh, helmet. helmet. But now, now the sun and everything. It's so nice, yeah. But we were told this by your dad, and we all know, you know, the spectrum of dad fiction. Mm. Yeah. It's... Which is definitely a thing, right? Yeah. Um, but Denmark is relatively flat. I, I I'll rephrase that. Mm. Denmark is completely and utterly flat. Um, and this area is very hilly, and there is just a lot of terrain, which is really cool, and you can really see the landscape really, really well from here. And we don't get a lot of these really big landscapes in Denmark, mm. and I love this place so much because you can see so far, and you can really see the coastline. That was why this was the destination. Mm. I was low-key looking forward to showing you this in a vlog, and also to see how well it comes across in a vlog. Um, and, and yeah. Should we show them the, the staircase of doom? So we came through the forest, which is this way. But there's another way to get here, and it's through these stairs. And um, I don't think I have to explain to you that this is very dangerous. <laughs> these are the stairs. Oh no. And we won't go down uh, that way because he obviously have, we have a dog that will quite frankly die on those stairs. Yeah, she's already trying to kill herself. Mali, Mali. Moles, no! Mali, you have so much to live for!
Okay, girl. I think it's fair to mention that it's been raining all week and that's why it's so muddy. But even with all the mud, I feel like these shoes are doing an amazing job. Like, yeehaw, grippage. That's not even a word. Traction? Traction! I don't know why I'm yelling, traction. Look at this. You can't look at this and tell me you don't believe in magic. I just made Jens pull over because I saw this field and all of these white flowers and these could be really cool for an Instagram photo. I'm sorry. It's a living. We just got back home. Um, the shoes are quite dirty now, but you're not supposed to put them in the washing machine, but rather put them someplace to dry completely and then you can simply brush them off. So I put the shoes here now that Jens has gotten the fire going. This is kind of perfect. They did really well for their first trip, I feel like. As you can see, our timing for our hike was incredible. Look at this, it's just pouring now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, I would love to make some. So leave me a comment and a like and make my day completely. Yeehaw! And also thank you to Wildling for sponsoring this video. That also made my day. I'm going to keep using these shoes forever and ever. I love them to bits and uh, it's a really, really cool thing to try out, especially when I have always had shoes with really big soles and I've always been told that that is the only way to go. But I can already, within a few days of using them, definitely feel a difference in my feet and how I'm walking and what I can sense and how I'm using my muscles and stuff like that. I think that's intensely cool. Um, so I don't know if you want to see a post where I show you what it feels like after a month, after two months. I would definitely love, love to make you an update to keep you guys posted on what these shoes feels like. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!